2018 was a pretty rough year for PC builders. At the start of the year, GPU prices skyrocketed, easily exceeding over $1,000. And once those GPU prices finally started to come down, there was news that Nvidia may be launching a new Nvidia Turing series. Many people held out on buying a GPU, hoping that this new Turing series would be a lot more worth it. However, the Turing series was a big disappointment, with the cheapest card coming in at $500 going all the way up to $1,200. Even if you are willing to pay those high prices, these GPUs weren't really that worth it because the main technology, ray tracing, wasn't even that good. Throughout all of this, we didn't see any big GPU launches from AMD other than the RX 590 but that was just a minor upgrade over the RX 580. In the CPU world, while AMD is still pushing forward and offering great CPUs for outstanding prices, we really have no clue what Intel is doing. They literally just launched another 14 nanometer series. And then they launched a new i9 series on the mainstream platform called the 9700K for over $500. And this CPU is quite comparable to a CPU that costed pretty much half of that, the 2700. When you think that things couldn't get any worse, you realize that RAM prices have been consistently going up where you had to pay over $200 for just 16GB of RAM. And then you hear that the three main RAM manufacturers are the main cause for this because they have been price fixing for several years and we're just now feeling the effects of it. I think we can all agree that 2018 was not the best year for PC builders and I'm sure the big companies can feel that also, especially Nvidia who lost over half their stock price in just the last couple of months. 2019 on the other hand has a lot of surprise waiting for us, so here's why 2019 is going to be a tremendous year for PC builders. First, let's take a look at GPUs the biggest hassle in 2018. There are some big GPU launches coming up soon, especially from AMD. There have been countless rumors suggesting that AMD is going to launch a new high-level GPU series at the beginning of 2019. And with AMD not launching any big GPU series in the past year and a half, this does make sense. There is a lot of confusion whether this new series is going to be the brand new Navi series on a completely new architecture or just a refined Vega on the new 7nm process. Either way, what rumors for both these series have in common is that they are suggesting that these new series will be for the average consumer without really expensive unnecessary hardware like ray tracing even though AMD is working on that. This series is pretty much supposed to bring a good boost over the Vega series and even match some of the RTX cards but for a much much cheaper price. One of the most exciting cards to look forward to is the RX 3060, which is supposed to have performance on the level of the RTX 2070, but only cost half of that at just $250. So we definitely have some exciting things to look forward to from AMD. But that's not it for the GPU scene. We also have some things from Nvidia to look forward to as well. It's been a couple of months since the RTX series has launched, but there still is no 60 or 50 series. As a result, these new cards should be coming out very soon. And while these cards may not have the best value, especially considering AMD's new cards, these cards will definitely be a lot more affordable options from Nvidia, and options are always good. Something that's even more exciting is that Nvidia may even launch a full out 1100 series, which is pretty much identical to the 20 series but without ray tracing technology. While this is just a rumor, considering the competition from AMD and Nvidia's stock price, this may very well happen. Overall, we should be seeing a lot more affordable GPUs coming out in 2019. Now, moving on to CPUs, 2018 wasn't that bad for CPUs because even though Intel's launches were more than disappointing, AMD's launches more than made up for it with their stellar second generation Ryzen series which brought even more performance for an even cheaper price. However, that was just a talk year upgrade. 2019 is the tick year where the huge upgrade is going to be coming out with Zen 2. There are some crazy rumors floating out there, suggesting that the Ryzen 7 model will have 12 cores and 24 threads, and that there will be a new Ryzen 9 model which will have 16 cores and 32 threads for a very affordable price of $500. Now, while that does sound amazing, and even if AMD could offer that, I really don't think they would, because that just doesn't make any sense because the mainstream user does not need more than 8 cores and 16 threads at this point. Now given that, AMD has slowly been increasing the clock speeds of their octa-core CPUs over the past two generations, with the 2700X being able to overclock all the way to 4.3GHz. 
So what I think we can expect from AMD, especially given the 70 nanometer architecture, which should be a lot more efficient, is a solid octa-core processor with 16 threads that is able to overclock up to 5 gigahertz. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You'll also get a nice stock cooler and it'll be priced in the mid 300s. Now, knowing AMD, they may completely blow that out of the water. However, I think we confidently expect at least that from AMD in 2019. And as for Intel, this may finally be the year that they move on from the 14 nanometer process onto the 10 nanometer process. And they finally may offer an octa-core processor with their i7s that can also hyper-thread given all the competition from AMD. So overall, as for CPUs, Zen 2 is absolutely going to kill it. Make sure to keep an eye out for Threadripper as well, because last year they doubled their cores and threads, so I'm pretty sure AMD has something big coming out this year as well. Finally, as for RAM, RAM prices have already settled down pretty much. You can get a 16GB kit right now for $150, which actually isn't too bad. However, there is something very big that may be coming next year, which is DDR5 RAM. Now, this does not mean that in 2019, DDR5 RAM will become mainstream and that you can build a PC very soon with DDR5 RAM. However, what this does mean is that since DDR5 is coming soon, manufacturers will start to reduce the price of DDR4 RAM in order to get rid of their excess inventory. Thus, during 2019, we should see RAM prices continue to decline and during the holiday season of next year, RAM should be offered for really great discounts. Overall, the biggest issue that we witnessed in 2018 for PCs was price. And in 2019, that issue should be completely vaporized, mainly thanks to AMD due to the big competition that they're going to introduce onto CPU and GPU market. On top of this, there are some very exciting releases coming up very soon in early 2019 and throughout 2019 as well. So, while it is unfortunate that we can all easily agree that 2018 was not a good year for PCs, I think that we can just as easily agree that 2019 has some great surprises which may just shake up the market. But that is pretty much it as to why 2019 is going to be a tremendous year for PCs. So what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for 2019? Make sure to post below what you guys are most excited for. Also, if you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.